Hi guys, welcome back. For the FPP short series, I'm trialling the square format, which can be viewed more easily on a mobile phone and also on the traditional desktop or TV. Let me know what you think down below and whether I should continue. Now, if like me, you've been playing around in FPP, trying to get something working and you've made a complete hash of it, and need to start again, fear not, you don't need to pull the SD card and do a reformat. We can simply reset FPP from within to wind it back to factory settings and start again. To do this, all we need to do is to go into start, into our status control, FPP settings, change the user interface or UI level from basic to advanced. And then we can go into system, we can scroll all the way to the bottom and reset FPP config. I'm gonna click on everything to reset everything other than our networking setup which means we can continue browsing to it on the uh, laptop here. I'm going to go down to the bottom and go for reset. Yes, I'm sure. It has reset everything now for me. So I'm going to close. And it's set telling us there's an alert. And it wants a reboot to pick up all of the changes. Let's proceed with the reboot. And the Pi is just going to take a few moments to shut down and, and restart. And once the Pi has finished rebooting, I'm just going to hit refresh on this web page. There we go. And we're back at the initial setup screen, ready to complete the basic beginning setup. So the defaults for UI password and OS password. Finish setup, no thank you. And there we go, we're ready to go again. The only thing we don't have to do now at this point is to expand the file system because that's already been done. So there you go, a quick and easy way of resetting your FPP instance if you've made a mess of things. As always, I hope you found that useful. Please do like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Is for now.